Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video is on atrial fibrillation. Atrial fibrillation, AFib, is an irregular, and often very rapid heart rhythm. Due to its irregular heart rhythm, it can lead to blood clots in the heart. Atrial fibrillation, AF also increases the risk of stroke, heart failure and other heart-related complications. AF can be classified into four types. Paroxysmal AF is the type that terminates spontaneously, or with intervention, within seven days. However, recurrent episode may occur. Second type is the persistent AF. It lasts longer than seven days. And the episodes often require pharmacologic or cardioversion to restore sinus rhythm. Third type is long-standing AF, which lasted for more than 12 months. Whereas permanent AF is in cases of joint decision between patient and clinician not to pursue rhythm control treatment. Signs and symptoms of atrial fibrillation. Signs are irregularly irregular pulse and pulse apex deficit. Symptoms are palpitations, dyspnea, and possible chest pain. For investigations, do a thyroid function test to exclude hyperthyroidism, which can cause palpitations. ECG is often done. Expected findings in atrial fibrillation would be absence of P wave and rapid continuous fibrillatory wave. The ventricular wave is irregularly irregular. As for echocardiogram, assess size of right and left atrial for any presence of dilatation. Also assess size and function of ventricles. For risk assessment, CHADSVASC score is done to assess the need of giving anticoagulant to the patient. To avoid stroke or other complications of AF. Another score is the has blood score. To assess for future bleeding risk. The management goals are to reset the heart rhythm, to control heart rate, and prevent blood clots that can lead to stroke. For unstable patients, such as hemodynamically unstable like hypotension, chest pain, acute heart failure, impaired consciousness, or heart rate more than 200, management is to do DC cardioversion, and pharmacological treatments such as amiodarone and flecainide for rhythm control. Whereas for stable patients, rate control is important. We can give beta blocker, calcium channel blocker such as diltiazem and verapamil, and digoxin which is preferable in patients with heart failure. That's all for this video. Thank you.